Hello, so it is possible to map some of the controls of Metric AB to a control surface. I'm gonna show you how to do that in Logic. I'm going to assume that you're already familiar with Metric AB. Um, if not, it's a really, really cool plugin. It allows you to reference tracks within a mix so you can judge them side by side, essentially A, B in them, and it can be a really, really good mixing tool. I've actually done a video about how to use reference tracks and how to actually use this plugin already. So if you wanna go and check that video out, go and do that now. Presuming you already know what's going on, I'm gonna dive right in, I'm gonna show you what can be done. So I've already mapped a whole bunch of controls to the plugin. For example, here are a few that I've already done myself, and this is all being controlled by my keyboard. This is is just a Novation launch key, but you know, anything which has MIDI capabilities is gonna do the job. So I've got one key which is switching between the A and the B channel, which is probably the main one that you're gonna need. Beautiful, I no longer have to just load up the plugin to do that. Got another couple which are doing the volume of the A and B stream. As you can see, uh, so there's that moving up and down. There we go, lovely jubbly. Got one which changes it from mini mode to big mode. Very useful to save a little bit of screen space when you need it. And then another control to actually just change the size of the GUI, which was a, a new feature in the latest update. So make sure you've got that, otherwise this one won't work. Very cool. And also another one which is cycling between all the different modes that you've got on there. So if this is all for the metering. So if I just scroll through on that knob, you can see all the different modes change in there. Pretty cool. Now there is a list of things that you can actually map. So if you go to the website, if you go to the manual, it will tell you in there which it, which can be mapped. So I've just got, a, got that up for you now. It's a small but pretty good list of functionality which can be done. So there you go, but go and, go and have a proper look at the manual and you'll see everything that you can actually affect there. Now, how is it done? It's actually very, very simple. So I'm gonna presume you have a little bit of knowledge of using the smart controls, but no worries if not. So what you do is you insert metric AB on the master, which is where it'd be anyway, hit B, and it's gonna come up with all these controls. Now, yeah, I've already done some mapping myself, so it usually will just come up with a selected few that they think that might be useful. And actually, yes, the ones that they suggest are pretty useful but I've changed it to suit what I wanted to do. So all you need to do is now you've got this GUI appeared, it's very simple to start assigning. Now we have an unmapped one here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that. As you see, it goes blue. And now there are two ways to assign it to an actual function. You can either click learn, and then click on something on the plugin which you want to change. But just bear in mind, not everything is mappable. So sometimes it's best to actually look in the list. So in that case, we'll go down here, click the list, go to Metric AB, this one here. And here is a list of things that you can actually change. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for stereo mode. So that's this thing here where it's changing between mono, left, right, and the side. So when it's monitoring the different parts of the signal. Now that's set, when you adjust this, it's gonna make the change in the plugin. There we go. But let's now assign that to something on our control surface. So now all you need to do is hit learn over here on external assignment. Twiddle the knob of the one you want to use. Click learn again. And now that should nice, nicely go blue. And as you can see, as I'm twiddling the knob, that's adjusting this smart control. And if we just go over to Metric AB, you will be able to see that that is now controlling the stereo modes. Pretty cool. If you are finding this video useful, it'd be amazing if you can help me out and hit the old like and subscribe and then you'll get notified of upcoming releases. It really does help the channel and helps me out. So thank you very much. Also, if you sign up to the main list, I'll send you some free stuff. There'll be an EQ cheat sheet and some one shots that you can use in your mixes to just make them sound better. Okay, let's get back to video. And that's basically all you need to do. So you've got a selection here of a few knobs and some buttons that you can use. It's best to do a little bit of trial and error with it because you'll start to find out how they've set it up in the plugin and how it will then transfer onto your fader or, or knob, or whatever you're using. So for example, I set up another one, which was just a button press, which is a super useful one. And it's this one here, which is loudness match all. So in case you're not familiar with that, when you hit that and press play on your DAW, that's gonna loudness match all of the reference tracks that you have loaded within the plugin. So everything's gonna be playing back at a similar level. So let's just do that quickly and we'll just see that in action. So 
So what you would have seen happen there is this game control here for this particular one, it's actually done it for all of them, but for this particular one has adjusted itself to make sure that they're all in a similar level. So now if I flick between the two with the fader that I have assigned already, they should be all fairly similar. Perfect. And that's about it. So as I said, I've basically assigned them to the main controls that I use, but there are a few more in there that you can do. So make sure you go and check out the manual and it will show you exactly which ones are available to assign. I found this really useful because it's such a faff when you're in the middle of a mix, you just want to check the reference track and you have to go over to the plugin. You've got to load it up. You've got to press a button to change. You've got to all this and blah, blah, blah. It just takes a long time and I ain't got time for that. It's nice to just be able to just press a button and the magic happens and you can just keep going about your day okay as always thanks for watching i will see you next time